And welcome back guys to Let's Play Heroes of Might and Magic 4. Last time we defeated a bunch of stuff, we recruited a bunch of stuff, I think. I honestly can't remember, even though it was actually a while ago. Anyway. Uh, yeah, the point is to end the turn and see what's gonna happen. I, it would seem I bought every single thing. I could. Oh yes, I was buying magic palaces of life. So yeah, there you go. Though Genie could move and I wanted to actually go and see, yeah, three crossbowmen. I'm gonna wait. If these guys, are like, I mean, it just tells me you can recruit three crossbowmen here, right? But does it tell me that you get weekly and stuff like that? Yeah, so I'm gonna just wait a day for this turn and see if maybe they're gonna be six crossbowmen now. I don't know, maybe it's daily, maybe it's weekly. Have, have no idea, so. Yeah, recruit squires, seven squires, see? So yeah, well, let's see. End this turn, and we'll see if that actually goes like that. And yes, they went for us. Those bastards we will die this day, it would seem. <laughs> no, no, we won't. Uh, but we will lose a bunch of stuff, sadly. We'll lose a bunch of stuff. Let's see, first, the assassinos. Okay, level one creature of chaos. Seven initiative, these guys will be a problem. These bastards are also level 1, as you can see they are chaos faction, normal melee, and again they have a short range, so they need to get close to actually do some massive damage. And the first time we are fighting against 25 Medusas, a tier 2 creature it would seem, uh, again with infinite uh, amount of arrows and multi unlimited shots, okay, damn that's gonna be quite a problem. I'm a little bit afraid here, but let's hope we'll be able to do some damage. First and foremost, let's deal with the problem that is ahead of us, that those are the Assassinos. So let's do defense, and first and foremost, uh, can I shoot? Yeah, I will be able to shoot at her. Okay, okay, man, did we just lose like a bunch of people there? I have not seen how many we killed actually, Medusa is so bad for me. Uh, Lysander, hmm, Lysander, well, he can only shoot at these bastards, so there you go, four dead, first and foremost, Heavenly Shield, Might Fest, Magic Fest, that is, or we'll go immediately with the Bless on our Crossbowman, at least the 66 one did not shoot, so, okay, he's dead, wow, uh, this is a problem, this is a problem. Lysander might die instantly like this just because of the Medusas. Uh, this could be a problem. Medusas need to die immediately. That's for sure. So I'm going to concentrate everything on those Medusas. All my crossbow will be firing on Medusa. Sadly, uh, I might lose a bunch of people here, but Lysander might also die. In the next shot by the Medusa. So let's hope we destroy Medusa before the Lysander gets owned. Thankfully, morale again for us. One. That's okay. That's okay. Let's see. Magic Fist or Bless again. I'm gonna bless on my crossbow because they're the most important ones at the moment. These guys won't be reaching them, that's for sure. So we're gonna go on defense. Crossbowman. Sally, not the clear shot at all. Oh man, that's a bad thing. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Okay, an attack on Lysander. You see they're gonna concentrate on Lysander. I hope Lysander will be able to defeat these bastards. Uh, let's attack them. Uh, of course, some of them will die. But I can't risk it this time around. I'll prefer the Squires to die than Lysander. There you go. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, seven left. Excellent, excellent. Okay, she did not gaze him, so she, he did not go stone on him. Excellent, that's a beautiful thing right there. I, I, damn you, assassino. Damn you. Excellent. I mean, I mean, I mean, excellent in terms that she did not stone gaze him. Uh, we would, he would die immediately, and that's of course always a problem. <laughs> so we'll do a bless on one of our things, or go with the uh, magic fist. She'll, we'll be able to do some damage. I have no idea. Let's try it out. Two dead. That's okay. You're dead. That's okay also. Now they have like the creature normal. Yes, he doesn't suffer melee 
da uh, combat, well, well, doesn't... <laughs> penalty, doesn't suffer a melee penalty, because he's awesome, so he can shoot and do some awesome damage on us. Uh, he has five shots, so what I'm going to do is get close to him now. Why? Because I'm awesome like nobody's bitch. And of course, I want to get rid of those Medusas if we do not succeed. 12 dead. Man, though, yeah, I mean, as closer as we get to them, of course, it's going to be kind of problematic. But that's okay. There they go. They're kind of dead. No! <laughs> fudge! Just fudge me in the ass, please. Fudge me in the ass. Great. Fudge me in the ass. I screwed myself. Accidentally pressed the wrong thingy. And I can only hope that level 5 Adelaide will be able to resurrect here. She has expert resurrection, so let's hope she will resurrect a bunch of our troops at least. On defense, accidentally again press that thing. See? Stuff like this happen. A lot, it would seem. So already we have bad stuff. 29 freaking uh, squires just because of the damage of that. Just amazing damage they do. Amazing damage. Nonetheless, they would probably do a already a huge amount of damage on one of our crossbowmen or on Lysen. I mean, Lysen doesn't really matter. He's gonna survive, but still. Oh, man, that's kind of bad. That's kind of bad right there. Yeah, let's immediately kill them. Well, we're well, gonna waste these 29 squires. What can I say? And, of course, they're dude. Oh, well, Medusa's very strong. Can't kill a hero out right just because of the stone gaze. And, yeah, that's kind of... 43 squires dead. For, wow, that's, that's totally bad. I mean... If I didn't screw myself in terms of wasting movement points and all those things that we had near them, yeah. Okay, 17 back and one. Uh, still not good enough, but hell's bells, what can I say? So what I'm gonna actually do is I keep her, Adelaida, with Lysander. Somehow she is perfect for him, even though I had a problem with thinking, should I go with Cathy? But it was seen that Adelaida will be the perfect monk for Lysander, so she will keep her standing near Lysander. Anyway, she's gonna be just pure monk, heal and stuff like that. So anyway, advanced basic melee. Uh, yeah, heroes melee. Okay, this is the usual thing the might character, might heroes tend to have a lot. Or advanced combat, advanced tactics. I'm gonna go with basic melee this time around. A level six general. Yeah, good for him. All in all, uh, let's see Adelaida. Okay, I have a problem here. You hear the music, right? I have a feeling we're still in combat, so we have to reload the save and a fight again. God damn it. There's there's a bug, it would seem. A master resurrection, advanced healing. Let's go with master. No, we didn't. Okay. Because you hear the music, the combat music. Same thing happened the last time. We got screwed totally there. So, yeah. Huge loss for us here but let's see we're gonna split them up up again yes thank you like this again loss of huge amount of squires sadly huge amount of squires didn't lose too much crossbow man so that's always a good thing if you do not lose the crossbow people uh, plus five to sulfur let's get that chest yes the experience let uh, emerald of speed yeah okay i'm gonna go with emerald of speed and of course that's gonna all go on lysander as he's the most important character here and medicine wagon we're gonna get some potion immortality and strength as you can see the potion immortality i will immediately drink can i actually drink no i can't uh yeah i can't do that it seems can't open the spellcaster book i think we need about movement points to actually utilize that but that's okay uh opal of magic i'm gonna leave it there for now not actually utilize it at all now let's see you have four cross women so if we leave they stack up so I can leave this collect layer down the line, and as long as the enemy doesn't collect them, it's all good. And of course, the enemy is there's no way he can reach that position just like that. Hopefully, he can. So what I'm gonna do with Araya, just collect the nobility because we need that nobility for Araya specifically, because she is gonna have ability, the same thing as, of course, this bastard here. And what he is gonna actually do, he's just gonna collect the peasantry here. That's what he is gonna do. That's all the, his job is gonna be to collect the peasants because the peasants are a good thing. A good force, a good force of income. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and you know, of course, also I'm gonna utilize him to spread units around. Again, I don't want him as a main hero at all. Uh, what to do with Genie? Genie will actually stay around this position. She really can't do anything. She 
may actually go towards this position and collect stuff maybe explore a little bit you know not be useless but still yeah maybe i'm gonna actually yeah i'm gonna collect these bastards slowly but surely you know these two buildings are close to each other so why not next one is of course one of our squires that he can't do anything here he, there are too many enemy units close so we don't have a clear path to victory or death if you will let's see what is here Ooh, death cursed ground mm, cost of 1.25 per tile always a bad thing do remember the dry grass aligned with life and nature it's only cost one per tile movement point compared to as you can see 1.25 per tile because this is not for us so uh, i like that that it tells you exactly i think of course the original games also had that but in this one i think it's more much more specific so there you go also ooh, squ some squires we lost a bunch of squires would like to collect them but i want also whatever is here uh, let's see shrines of magic oh yeah the lots of shrines of magic I mean, teaches new spells to heroes capable of learning them. So let's see if we'll be able to do anything with Adel Adelaida or Ada. I should start learn calling her Ada. Uh, teaches mass, oh, mass healing spell. Oh my God! Thank you. This is a very important thing. As of course is mass uh, amount of like bless mass spell. Uh, Damn, I'm talking too fast. My mind doesn't go with my tongue or my mouth. Or whatever you're gonna call it, and Jesus, it's just awful, awful. Nonetheless, uh, let's see if we can buy something here. Now, I did say that I'm gonna try, I think I did say that I'm gonna try and lower the amount of stuff I buy around these positions. But order magic spells, order of nature, nature. I mean, nature is useless to me, because uh, honestly, none of my heroes are gonna have nature stuff. Those are for elves, as far as I care. So, no, I say no to these things. But order of enchantment, why the hell not? I'm just gonna be by one, that's it. Not that, nothing else, that's it. Okay, we can end this turn. Hopefully we still don't see any enemies closing in on us. So let's see, bind wound, okay. Okay, we already possess this knowledge of awesome. The Lake of Skull cannot help you this time. Spring of Speed bestows temporarily boost the speed of any hero. So we're gonna go for that. Thank you, and this one, of course, increases your movement across the entire terrain. Excellent. And there are a bunch of nomads. Now, nomads are a level 2 creature, if I'm not mistaken. They do have a double tap ability. Okay, I think they can retaliate twice. Uh, so, yeah, that's gonna be maybe a little bit problematic, but I don't think a band of these bosses will do anything against us. So, let's attack them. Hope that we can do something. I'm presuming that they have a lot of movement here. 8, 12, as you can see, 12 movement points are on the, on the terrain here. So all you know, but there's still a little bit of uh, pluses for us because of these things. They will probably go for Cat, well, Cat is sorry, our monk here, Ada. And of course, maybe for these, but I don't think they'll have enough room to pass around the Spearman. So nonetheless, of course, we, as usual, we're going to go on the full defense. And if we can have a clear uh, line or at least clear shot towards them, we'll utilize it. Okay, defend. Yeah, as you can see, they definitely will be having, but I don't think in, in this turn they're gonna even reach us, or in even the next one. In the next one, they will probably reach our main force in front, though. So, let's see. First and foremost. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Okay, so they're definitely a little... Oh, sorry, they're tier 3 creature. Because I look by the health amount. I mean, 45 health, tier 3 or tier 4 creature. Uh, qu quite a good initiative. Thankfully, they don't have any archers capability range capabilities so that's always a good thing so let's see I'll always blast first and foremost on my main stuff and of course the next crossbow and delt will be in the line to actually shoot at these bastards thank you at least that that part is done again I'm presuming I'm gonna be losing a lot of soldiers here thankfully the morale is on our side so what I'm gonna do here is uh, move our squires to the left to protect our monk and move these guys like here let's see their movement oh they'll definitely be reaching this position so there you go mm, let's see clear shot towards you at least thank you and i can kill you all right no wow that's sad that's quite sad but i'll be able to do some damage with lysander he cannot kill a i mean not even one i believe four health 
Uh, 16 health. Let's go with a 16 health one. Excellent. Now we can go again. A uh, bless. Did I? Okay, bless on this crossbow, people. Excellent. Yeah, going for the Lysander. Lysander doesn't give a crap, so Lysander says no. Good. <laughs> go for the Lysander. As long as I don't lose squires and stuff like that, it's always. Do remember, I also can attack these vests without being retaliated upon. So there you go, 5 dead immediately, so why not use that Lysander? Excellent, excellent. So what we're gonna do is bless again. Bless on our... Oh, actually I'm gonna bless our Spearmen. The Spearmen are beautiful. They're going of course for our... Uh, <laughs> for our monk, quite understandable. Was expecting as much. Defend. Defend and shoot him in the face. Thank you. Shoot him in the face. Thank you. Only one. Excellent. Uh, can I, I? I will be able to kill him before he attacks, of course, Ada. But yeah, I'm gonna kill him with Lysander. There you go. And you in the face. Okay, so reality wise, we lost no one. <laughs> so that's always a good thing. Casualties only 36 for them. And of course, we have this thing in front of us, which will immediately. Utilize for 4,000 we can teach ourselves one level up. I think yeah for a fee They will teach you how to improve one of your non magic skills. Well, I'm not gonna non magic skills are useless for her I mean, I all did get basic attack for her just for a basic defense like you know, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, I mean that's a bad skill because I'm not gonna upgrade it in the long run But again if you think about it I never even got I mean my maximum level I ever had with any of the heroes were level 16 So beyond that I have no idea what more better skills you can get so yeah nonetheless uh, Yeah, I'm gonna go with of course only a uh, Lysander advanced melee never a bad stuff Increases heroes melee attack to 20 and divides the natural defense of enemy creatures by 2. The melee skill never reduces an enemy's defense below 10 and it never reduces enemy's hero's defense. Uh, okay, but at least, you know, it's cool. <laughs> it's groovy to have it. Uh, I see an island here that I would like to go. Mm, and there's a, there are the training grounds, of course. And there's a blue key master tent. Yeah, that's a blue, right? Uh, my eyes are very bad here, not noticed by now. I tend to forget stuff very easily and tend to actually not see well. Uh, Opal Magic Grant, so one time boost your spell points. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Mag mages live here and st study in this ivory tower. Among their wealth is bound to record. Okay, so there are some mages defending this, probably. I mean, it's always someone defending these. You don't just get them for free or anything like that. A uh, Lysander, Lysander. Well, I'm not gonna do anything there, but I might collect these opals of magic. Uh, plus six on him. Uh, wait, wait. Let me just see Lysander. Now, he has a magic ability, right? This is troops reserve of magical energy. All spell requires spell points or mana to cast. Creatures regain their full spell point after every battle. Heroes recover a number of spell points each day depending on their skill. Now, do remember, I went to the order magic. I have no idea what order magic truly is, but again, he has advanced charm and basic enchantment. But again, I would like to learn what actually did. I mean, I know the charm, it helps us a lot in the long run because we can uh, charm certain uh, neutral creatures, they can join our side, and that's always a good thing. We certainly only have basic order magic, but nonetheless, I will go for a Lysander, or I mean, if, if Ada is the one that will go with Lysander. Uh, I might uh, upgrade her, but at this, this is the problem. I don't know which hero should go with Lyson. I wanted Cathy because I'm a fan of Cathy, but nonetheless, in the next scenario, we'll probably have like your three heroes, new heroes will be able to go with Lysander or whatever. You know, maybe like that. You can uh, two additional heroes uh, to have in the for the third scenario or something like that. I don't even know how many scenarios you actually have in a campaign, so you know, like it's all blind, people. Do remember, it's all blind, so it's all experimenting. Again, I am not sad that I have taken basic combat, but it increases hero's melee range defense to 15. So it's not really a bad thing to have, especially for the monks. At least that. Yes, that's a good actually. Now I'm not sad now. But the other magic is kind of twitchy thing that I do not know how to. I'm yet to even see any money. We all usually goes with life magic. At least in Ice Age scenario, we did that, and we never really explored the order magic that much. But Count Duke did have that. He did charm a few things, if I'm not mistaken. So, 
You know what? I'm gonna go with Ken. Oh, she's gonna go. Ada will be going to the next scenario, definitely, because she's much more stronger uh, than, uh, of course, Kathy, sadly. But Kathy will be bought in the next scenario, so the lady will be the main monk that will always go with him. She will never part with him. So, nonetheless, the lady will go with Lysander. She will get this. Yeah, she will get plus six. So, there you go. Excellent. She will always be in this army. And that's gonna be it. I'm not gonna ever put three heroes in one army. It's useless. I've noticed that before. Genie was in an army with Kathy and Araya, and it was Genie really was useless. So, uh, yeah. I think Monk and Knight kind of stuff works well. You can go with maybe an archer, but we've seen that they are again archers usually are the freaking. How should you say? I think archers are at least mostly freaking elves. Uh, nature creatures, uh, nature heroes, and they always demoralize your army. For some reason, it would seem the nature army is totally wasteful. They are useless. Uh, let's see. I hope I can actually choose because, you know, I mean, okay, Catty doesn't really need basic nobility. <laughs> That's a reality. <laughs> so I'm gonna go basic nobility on Araya. Thank you very much. Excellent. So the, what do we have? We have some Griffin Riders here. Shrines of magic teach new spell heroes capable of learning them. This freaking one teaches you level 1 nature spell, useless to me. The Lake of Scarlet Swan cannot help you, of course. And yeah, mass healing, of course, we'll go for that. When you touch the Shrine of Magic, you feel an energy flow quickly into and out of your body, leaving you knees weak. You realize you must be trained in expert life magic before you can study here. Okay, so mass healing is for expert life magic. I think I read it before, but as well, one has to learn. So nonetheless, expert life magic. We only have basic one for the uh, all of us actually. So nonetheless, uh, pikeman. Hmm, do I have? Uh, yes, I will. I'm gonna go for the pikeman. Then move on with the rest of the stuff. Squires, my bastards! Tell me what the hell we see here. I'm not in. Oh, the gruesome scene before us stopped our horses in their tracks. We could tell by the poor man's expression of pure agony that he had been tortured before they hung him from a tree. The stench of death clung to the air, and the distant squawking of carrion crows warned us as that there were going to be more bodies ahead. Cut the body down, Lysander ordered one of the soldiers. I turned my head as the soldier chopped at the rope dangling some tragic, bloodless monk only inches from the ground. Ooh, what the hell are these? The hideous malformed venom spawn spits a deadly poison on its enemies before it consumes them uh, and these are actually the death creatures of evil Ooh, ranged ability and creatures poison attack damage the target and do additional damage every turn until combat ends as long as that target is living so because we're life creatures mostly oh this is gonna be maybe a problem I have no idea what tier these uh, I could presume that maybe they're tier 3 or 2 so nonetheless they're not gonna be that but they're only banned so you know <laughs> reality wise they really ain't gonna do much the fountain of magic cannot help you this time of course it can unless you've seen yeah this could be like a blind area so to speak like only one way in and that's it so i'm gonna leave that to my heroes of course but sadly this squire can't really do anything anymore i'm thinking because of that uh, freaking crusader is standing here he could attack him, we'll see. Nonetheless, your job is almost over. Okay, I can't see anything. Oh, the Blessing Stone. There's a Blessing Stone. We have seen that before. Uh, we'll grant you a temporary boost to your luck and morale. There are a bunch of stuff, but nothing to seem very important to us. I mean, except the gold, of course. But maybe there's something here that I can't really get close to without finding this monster. I'm not going to lose him yet. You know, like, I don't want to lose my scouts. At the moment, I just want to know what the hell is going on around the land. But I'm gonna definitely clear the entire map as much as I can. There's a that blue key master tent, and maybe that's actually for this tower here. Oh no, that's a quest tower. Sorry, this is a quest tower. I'm guessing this is the thingy. Yeah, yeah who knows what this quest guard will require before you can pass? Okay, so there's a purple. Wow, there's a, there are a lot of freaking keys around. This is like Doom. <laughs> this is like doom unless I'm gonna go around with genie again I'm thankful that you can be a fucking lord character and still uh, be able to uh, do something for your kind so to speak 
you know what she could go here and collect those bastards uh, those pyramid pikemen and uh, give that to Araya. Araya is definitely buffing her forces up I mean look at how many there are there are definitely a lot of freaking units there a more of course than Lysander but Lysander had a little bit of bad luck of finding those gruesome monsters Medusa's definitely very evil and I like them would like to utilize them at some point uh, okay I'm gonna leave these guys maybe because uh, Raya will coming uh, towards this position she will be she will be going to good springs anyway uh, maybe no she's gonna go for the experience and then return to the good springs she's gonna collect a lot of soldiers man she's gonna go down or maybe attack those griffin at some point I have no idea how many griffins I mean I never fought them they could be very evil creatures of darkness uh, you know what I'm gonna do with him just collect these bastard peasantry just because that a little bit of money always helps and why the hell not I'm sexy like a beast and you know it you know it people you know it Mm. So I send my scout down there. These guys will stay as they are. So what the hell can we do here? Order Major, Holy Cathedral level 4. Uh, can't really buy anything. I mean, Knight's Chapter and Alto Light are disabled uh, in this town. But the only town that is able, of course, is Angel Falls. It's the only town able to build the highest tier units possible. So we have a Monastery of Baraxes. Uh, Baraxes, well, General Crusader. Okay, so I'm going to go with Monastery here. Buy this, why the hell not? Get those monks, level 4, mind you. Uh, tier unit, why the hell not? Uh, Knights chapter, uh, requires order of paladins, or altar of life, monastery or barracks. Okay, okay. So for champions or angels, of course we're gonna go for the angels, my god, man. <laughs> but we're gonna go for, uh, we needed seminary actually for the angels, if I'm not mistaken, or abbey. I think it was seminary uh, nonetheless uh, quite you know like it's I mean I'm yet to learn a lot of these uh, freaking buildings what to build when or, or something like that but again I don't have like those plus and minuses and choosing exact skills on how you're gonna finish the level because honestly what I've noticed in Heroes 3 and how people play that I am not I am not impressed at all oh I know Barracks says you need order of paladin so I'm gonna go with monastery I'm not impressed at all with Hero Stream in terms of how people play it. They're so specific in how you have to play it or it's a GG immediately. And that's one of big minuses. If that's how actually you have to play the game, I'm never gonna play Hero Stream. Because if I'm not, I don't have an ability to create my character the way I want to create then uh, you know what's the point of a hero I, mi I mind you of course it's kind of understandable if you don't want to have a freaking archery on your knight and stuff like that but I definitely see that in heroes 4 it's much more open and how you want to create your heroes there are many subclasses if you will from a basic class that you get from a knight not just a knight he can be a general he can be a warlord he can be whatever you know he can create this bunch of classes so yeah heroes 4 is definitely a better game than heroes 3 if that's if that limitation is out of the question you know in terms that you have to have the specific hero and this specific amount of uh, specific skills for that hero to actually do anything and oh, it's, it's all gonna be a plus to me because I consider that as a limitation in a game but again it's an old game heroes 3 in terms of, so you know it's quite understandable maybe it was a limitation of the engine or whatever hell is metals we're done we don't have any more things to do end the turn and see what's gonna happen so majors leave here can we fight them or something scores and <laughs> no I'm not fighting scores or majors uh, let me make this clear uh, scores bigger than dozens so you know like uh, mystical treasure not at the moment I'm not gonna take them at the moment if I get more buffs and stuff like that maybe a bigger level just for in case uh, okay, teachers and use spells to heroes capable of learning him. This particular month will teach you level 2 life spell. Always a good thing. I have a hero that is able to do that heal. Okay. It passes teaching you a heal spell. Yeah, we didn't have. We had bind wounds. So there goes Adelaide without even needing to go back to the town to actually learn all this. Always a good thing. Somehow I feel this like this this entire route what I've noticed in the game in the scenario that is is just compromised a bunch of crystals that you have to go through to get you know like better i mean definitely just for lysander to buff himself up as much as he can the gold or experience i'm gonna go for the experience because we have enough gold now 
I'm not worried about that at the moment. Yes, plus six, so beautiful stuff here. One moment you were holding the ruby of offense, the next it melts into a pool of hot ooze. The liquid drips between your fingers, staining your skin as it rents you its incredible power. And let's get that, of course, for Lysander. At the Desert Hut, you can get a special mount here on faster over desert terrain for seven days. Sadly, we don't have more moving points, so thank you, but no. We shall get those, of course, but not now. What can I do more with him? Like <laughs> he can go just around collecting those three peasantry like that and be disgusting as he is, which he will be actually doing. He's, I mean, no point of just staying there if I can just collect those bastards outright. Right? I'm right. You're wrong. Anyway, the Oraya will be moving through these positions, so I think all in all, yeah, yeah, we'll just going towards them and pick them ourselves up. But maybe Genie can, after all, collect them herself, be awesome like she always was and will be, and just in the next turn they will be able to connect and I can give her some units. But these guys do have some movement points, not enough, but I want to, you know, like, I'm gonna wait anyway. Okay, our squires say there are no problems, there are no enemies at the moment. Could get another squire just to cover this pass over here, but nonetheless, will be able to move. I am not so certain, to be honest, as you can see. Yeah, as you can see, we don't have enough movement points to avoid this bastard. And plus, if you see that this is GG for us in terms of how many things there are here, but I can see some other stuff around these positions. Oh, you know, it's quite a clear map for the first scenario. The enemy is not that aggressive, it would seem. Let's see if that's gonna stay like that. There are a lot of more things to cover over this position. I'm kind of afraid that I may open things that I shouldn't. But we'll just see what's gonna happen. And plus get a boat maybe. And cover that island and just collect immediately outright everything there. We'll see. We'll see. I'm hoping again we have two main armies that I'm gonna control and that's about it. I think they're sufficient for this scenario at least. Uh, what to do with these bastards? Oh uh, man, uh, he will die, so I can just wait it out here. In the next one, he should have more movement points. Let's see. Yeah, 9 of 24. Yeah, next turn, he will be able to avoid the Crusaders outright and just be awesome. Uh, okay, this breaking will teach you a level 2 life spell. Good, 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 good. Good. Uh, we won't be buying any more things except the soldiers from now on. And wait maybe for the angels in Angels Falls right can i do even that let's see altar of light okay just need resources you can see 14,000 people 14,000 jesus jesus uh, jesus oh yeah all right i screwed myself uh, i need to get in here tell them that he is the main dude so get 10 percent more of the armies i screwed myself I totally forgot about that I'm going for that noble thing and I totally forget that I have it. Damn you, world! Damn you. The big O is though in, in this position here. And I did want to get him also out. Uh, to level him up a little bit at least. Uh, let's see. Red gate, blue gate, red gate, blue gate, red gate. It's a red gate. I knew that. Please don't tell me it's a red gate. I know it's a red gate. He's gonna go for that experience shrine. Like a beast. Like a beast, he is. Actually, he reminds me of Ron Jeremy. If you do not know who Ron Jeremy is, so <laughs> I don't need to tell you that yet. <laughs> Nonetheless, yeah, Ron Jeremy. I'm gonna call him from now on, not the big O. The big O somehow suits him enough. I'm gonna call Ron Jeremy. Unless I find someone of life heroes that looks like J Ron Jeremy, that would be interesting. Nonetheless. Uh, okay, that's it. We have to wait it out and that's gonna be for the next video i wish you all the best as always I'm gonna say like a little bitch and awesome